be up for this. They will believe because they were behind against Monaghan. They were behind at stages for large points, parts against. You called it spot on, Martin Clark. Well, I'll tell you what, that's not a bad bit of recycling. That is a super point from Podrick Faulkner. He tries to get there, he allows it to sail on. Killian Clark back defending, but he's always the wrong side of the man. But possession by Jimmy Brennan. 45, threads it through, goes to return pass, doesn't get it. Paddy McBrady just wheeling his way through. McBrady still going, is it too long? Referee says yes. Well, you have to give it to Calvin. They are applying the pressure. There is Falconer. There is just a little tip tackle. By and all of a sudden, there's the simple pass. And all of a sudden, Calvin are cut open. And all of a sudden, well, what a diving block. Hi, boys and girls. I hope uh, you and your family's keeping safe over this time. I hope everyone got on well with the skills and challenges set by Calvin coaching in games last week. I see Ray Galligan was keeping a tight eye on all the people sending in clips. So this week, I'm hoping to see all your skills on Cavan County Board's Twitter uh, with the hashtag Cavan Coaching in Games. I really want to see your skills being showcased. Thanks very much. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to week three of uh, our Cavan Coaching in Games skill challenges and movements. So I hope everyone's having loads of fun at home. Now, the weather's not just as good this week, so a lot of our exercises today are going to take place indoors. So, make sure we've got a nice little area to do them and we're not, we push tables and different things out of the way. So, we'll start off with a warm up first of all. So, everyone's just going to follow along with me for these couple of exercises before we move into any of our skill games. So, first of all, I'm just going to get everyone jogging around on the spot, moving over five or six steps for 10 seconds or so. On the move, then we reverse into it as well. Okay, so we get well warmed up. We do a couple of animal movements like we done last week, so we change it up a wee bit. The first one we're going to do today will be frog jumps. So what a frog jump looks like, we're going to down, touch the ground, and jump back up. Okay, so down and jump. So we're going to go for 10 seconds, and we'll try and do a couple of 5 to 10 Frog jumps in the 10 seconds. Okay, so ready to go. Three, two, one. One. Okay, so I got five done in the 10 seconds. So we're just, we're not trying to beat the score on. We're just getting moving, okay? The next one we'll do, we'll move on. We're going to do bear crawls. So there's a few ways we can do it. If we want, keep our knees on the ground and hands all fours. Or we're just going to crawl around. Okay, obviously a wee bit faster than I'm going. Other than that, we can lift our knees up off the ground, just our hands and our feet, make it a wee bit harder. As well as that, we can add in a wee roll as we're crawling around. So bear crawls, roll over and up again, knees off the ground, okay? So keep going for 10 seconds, add in the roll. And up again. And we're just going to do one more. We're going to do star jumps now for 10 seconds to finish off our one. Okay? So star jump, hands side to side. And off we go for 10 seconds. Take good stuff. Three, two, one. Okay, good stuff. Okay, guys, so I want you to also pick two more animals, anyone you want to choose yourself. And you're going to act like them for 15 seconds, okay? So I want everyone to think of the first animal they're going to be, ready to go. We're going to go for 15 seconds. You've got to do that movement for 15 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and off we go. Okay guys, so that's the first animal we've done. Now the second animal you're going to pick, you're going to change it up and do another movement. Same again, we're going to go for another 15 seconds, okay? Through the movement and that's going to get our body really well warmed up now for moving into our different activities. Ready to go in three, two, one, and off we go.
Okay, guys, well done. That was brilliant. Okay, so we're going to move on now to our skills and our different games. I hope everyone's well warmed up. If we're all going to do another wee bit of warm up, we can repeat those again if we like. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do today, we're going to do a follow up on last week. We're going to work on our catching, catching and our handling work again, like Aiden did last week. So last week, Aiden used the big football, and the main focus was keeping our eye on the ball when it was coming down off the wall or when we were catching, okay? So we're going to keep remembering that throughout the wee skill games today. We have to keep our eye on the ball all the time. It's going to make it easier for catching, all right? So just to change up from last week, this week we're going to use a smaller ball. So if at home, if we've got a slitter, um, any other kind of small ball, if you, don't have, if you don't have them, maybe roll up a piece of paper or tile or roll, anything at all that you can get your hands on that's smaller than a football to use for our catching games, you can use that, okay? So, I'm just gonna use the small wee ball today. So, the first game we're gonna do is nice and easy, just on the spot, we're gonna throw up, catch with our two hands, make a wee basket with our hands like this, so that when we catch the ball, it won't fall out, okay? Remember all the time, keep our eye on the ball. So, we're gonna throw up, catch, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna try and do five of them now without dropping the ball, okay? So, ready to start? Up, one, two, three, four, and five. So all the time I'm keeping my eye on the ball, I'm making a nice wee basket with my hands to catch the ball in, okay? To make it a wee bit harder, we can use one hand. So if you want, start off with your left hand, you throw up and catch. So it's a wee bit harder, keep your other hand, opposite hand behind your back, okay? Up, just nice and easy, keep your eye on the ball and catch, okay? Same you can do with your opposite hand, other hand behind your back. Up, right hand, catch. Up and catch. So same thing, grip the ball nice and tight, or the tie the roll, or the piece of hip, whatever you're using at home, okay? So we're gonna go for five now, alternating hands, and let's see if we can do it without dropping the ball, okay? So right hand to left and catch, and opposite again, okay? So ready, three, two, one, up, one, two, three, keep an eye on the ball, four, and five, okay? So if you can't do it for five goes without dropping, if it's hitting the ground a couple of times, that's okay. Keep practicing and practicing and practicing and we'll be able to do it then, all right? So next one we're gonna move on to, like last week, the gate done with the football, we're gonna add in a clap. So we're gonna throw it up, one hand, clap, and catch it, okay? If you can get two in, throw up, clap, clap, and catch it again. Remember, keep your eye on the ball and make a basket with your hands, okay? So let's see if we can do five now with, without dropping the ball. If we drop it, just pick it up again and go. Okay, so ready? One, two, three on the move as well. Four and five, okay? So we don't always have to stand at the same spot. We can move around when we're doing it too, okay? The next game we're gonna do with the ball, it's similar to last week, but it's probably a wee bit more challenging, is moving around, moving the ball behind our back, okay? So obviously it's hard to keep our eye on the ball when we're moving it through our legs as well. Pass from one to the other. Just keeping control of the ball all the time, okay? And for all these wee games, guys, if any of them are too difficult to do with the small ball or any other piece of equipment that we're using, remember we can just throw that out and we can substitute in the big ball again and keep practicing like that. So we're doing our catches, Two hands, one hand, around behind our back, adding in our clap. All our different skills that we're after practicing there, we can do them, still do them with the big football, because at the end of the day, that's what we're going to be playing with in a match. All right? They found an extra, to mind gear, they found an extra 10 gears. That's another one in, and is that a mark? It is a fantastic mark taken by Thomas Galligan and a chance for Cavan to draw level and that's something I didn't think I'd be saying Gallagher There you go Okay guys, so we're moving on to the final bit we're going to do a few beat the score games we do these a lot in primary schools with kids and we always get good engagement with them so let's try and beat our scores now today so the first one that we're going to do is we're going to work on the bounce so it's going to be bounce, catch and we've got to squeeze the ball into our chest when we catch it 
We're gonna go for 15 seconds and we're gonna do as many as we can in 15 seconds. But make sure now when we bounce it, that we catch it and hug it into our chest each time, okay? So I'm gonna go for 15 seconds, see what my score is, and you're gonna do it at the same time as me, okay? So we're ready to go, football in our hand. Three, two, one, off we go. Ten seconds left, keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and hold it up, okay? So whatever your score was there, if it was five, that's your score now to beat, you've got to beat that score. So the next time you go, you're trying to get six or maybe seven, and each time we're gonna improve on it, okay? Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do, we're gonna move on, we're gonna do our knee solo. So each time, remember, when we do our solo, we're gonna do our from our right, hug it into our chest, we're gonna do off our left, and hug into our chest. So we're gonna work on both sides to make sure that we're improving on both sides at the same time, okay? Same again, we're gonna go for 15 seconds, as many as you can do in 15 seconds. Don't worry, but if you drop the ball, just grab it and pick it up again, and we'll see what score we can get. So football in our hands, ready to go, in three, two, one, off we go, solo and hug in, ten seconds, keep going, well done, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and take a break, okay, so that was really good again guys, same thing, whatever we got as our score, if we got five or six, as a score, that's our target to beat. So remember each time what your score was, so you're trying to beat it on your next turn. All right? Remember all the games, we've got to hug the ball into our chest for it to count as a score. This, they will believe because they were behind against Monaghan, they were behind at stages for large points, parts against Ireland. And this lead whittled right down. Rory Burns kicks it out in the middle of the field. Gerard McKernan gobbles it up. Doesn't even bother taking the mark. Just with a fence, a cabin defence that's becoming better and growing in confidence. As too is this man, Martin Ray. Okay, and the last one we're going to work today, similar to our first couple of games that we're doing our handling, is the high the catch, body catch, and hug into our chest, okay? So remember, it only counts as a score if we catch the ball and hug it in each time, all right? Same again, we're going to go for 15 seconds, and I want you to count your score to see how many you can get, okay? So this one, we're probably going to get a wee bit higher score, so let's keep working on it. So we've been practicing this now for the last few weeks. We're ready to go, three seconds. Couple in our hand, three, two, one, and off we go. Up, catch, into our chest. 10 seconds left, keep going, well done. Up and catch, hold it into our chest. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant guys, good stuff. So there's three wee games for us to practice. Our bounce to beat the score, our solo knee solo to beat the score, and our body catch to beat the score, okay? So let's keep practicing now this week and improving on our skills. Like the last couple of weeks, if anyone wants to share their scores or their challenges with us, let's pop them up on Twitter to Calvin County Board and the hashtag Calvin Coaching and Games, and we get a wee look at them and give loads of feedback back to them. So it's really good, let's keep active and try to stay safe inside that we're not throwing and hitting off the walls or anything like that. Just keep working on our skills. Good stuff.